If you have an online BrickLink store, it's very important you know how to add tracking numbers. When a customer purchases something, they love tracking numbers. They love to see the updates on their package, when it's going to arrive, and it's great as a seller to see that, hey, the package arrived, it got to the customer safely. Today's video is very simple. I'm just going to show you how to simply add tracking numbers to BrickLink orders. I've placed many orders on BrickLink, and through the years, I've always seen tracking numbers on my order form here, and I always wondered, you know, how do these sellers put that in there? And then I simply found out you can add a tracking number to any order. The first way you can do it is you can go to the bottom and select edit order. And it will give you an option to just put in a tracking number. What I do is when I'm mailing something out and I create my label, it will usually show your tracking number before I print the label. I copy this tracking number and I place it right there and save the changes. Now that tracking number is updated into that order and the customer or myself can simply click on the order detail page and now see a tracking number there. This is very simple and there's actually another easier way to do it. The next way to do this is when you have all your BrickLink orders on the one page, you can simply modify how this page appears to you. When modifying it, you can simply select this one checkbox to insert a tracking number and now it will come up with a space on this order form where you can simply input the tracking number. That way, after you, you know, look at an order form, you're printing a label for somebody, verifying the contents, now you can just hit the back button, go back to the other page, and simply input the tracking number. It's very simple, then you save changes. It would be the same thing as if you marked a few orders from you know, paid to shipped, and then hit save changes. You're just putting in a tracking number and hitting save changes. That's another great way to do it. And lastly, you can actually just take a tracking number off of your label, copy and paste it, and put it right there in BrickLink. Here's how I've copied one right off the barcode. That's something great that anybody should be able to do if you don't have the option I do where with ShipStation when I'm mailing something before I print the actual label it will give me a rundown of the order and then I could just copy the tracking number from there. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was please hit that like button and please subscribe to see more content to help you with your BrickLink store and other Lego content. Lego my James -o.